Okay, so we recorded our walk in Rishikesh, but um, I need to demonstrate it using the GPS signal, which is the red dot there. So I had to move to where I am now. So I've made another walk um, to demonstrate how to uh, load up your route and to go for your walk. So the first thing you do is you go back to the that route menu thing and you go to the manage. So there was the Rishikesh walk that I just made, and here is the, the one I've just created which is where I am right now. So I press and hold that. Then I load it as a route. And then you have these options. This is very good. Reverse route is good because that just sends around the other direction. Route alarm, that means that it starts beeping if you could wander off the route. I don't use it very much because it's irritating, but I guess if you're in a desert, it would be very good. And the waypoint alarm means if you go past the waypoint too far away. So again, I don't use that one. Um, no navigation, that's fine. No, no, follow. Follow it. But this logging is if you want to um, see where you actually go and make a recording of it, which you might use if you wanted to uh, uh, upload something to open street maps. So I don't do that, so I press OK. So now, notice we have the GPS position is on. You turn it on and off with that top button there, so we'll talk about that in a minute. And then these stats down here, like that's the altitude 10 meters, that is this tile that's the scale of the map. That I think is the compass direction, um, and that is your speed as you go along. So they all start changing, hopefully, when you start walking and GPS sees some differences. So I press this one. So this is what we've start time and all this never worked on this phone, 1970. It isn't that old actually. That's the distance, that bit's right. Um, so what we've got to do now, go down to the bottom and we um, activate it. Right, so then you start walking and hopefully these things will change and obviously the little mark will go around the track and you'll get to the other end and then that's your walk done. And it'll give you the stats and I think you can save stuff but as I said on um, the website, uh, I'm not really into saving all the stats and stuff so uh, don't, I can't, unfortunately can't say much about that. So when you finish your walk, um, uh, all you've got to do now is um, remove it so because you don't want the, to leave the track on onto your, on your map so you press that and then you click uh, oh no we could um, invert it if you like see the dots up the other end now anyway we've now finished with it stop the follow you can do that if you want so just anyway so you remove it so uh, remove so that's, that's that done and then finally if I want to turn off my GPS yeah. see my little sat things up there I press that button there and that's that done so that's how to follow a walk